Hey ya girls, it's Archeline bringing you another video um, on everything girl. This video is going to be about um, preparing for your first period and then I think the next video I'm going to do is a uh, emergency preparedness tip I guess you want to say. I guess you can call it, sorry. And then the video I'm going to do after that is my first tampon story. And then I will make a video on how to use a tampon. Okay, so <laughs> um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yes, okay. So I have three different bags. Um, I don't use all of them for. I use all of them for my period stuff, but not all of them for the same reason. Like, does that make sense? Whatever makes sense. Okay, so I have one at school. That's my emergency period kit that has like a few of my emergency period things in there. Um, and definitely for some of my other friends, because pretty much everybody in my grade, every girl in my grade has started their period, so, you know, they're always like, hey, I don't have a tampon or a pad, do you have one? And they're like, heck yeah, I have one, because I have this, like, little three-tier drawer thing in my locker, and I just keep all my stuff in a bag in the bottom, so, because I do have guys that come with me to my locker, and then if they were to do that, that'd be awkward, I'd be like, but close your eyes, and be like, why, I'd be like, just close your eyes, and they'd be like, oh, okay, anyway, not exactly like that, so I have it in the bag, another bag, I, I like the zipper ones better, but you can have, like, those ones that, like, button on the top instead of zipper, but there's two different kinds of ways you can, um, pack it, there's one way you can be more discreet, and there's another way that you don't have to be as discreet, and I have stuff in it, like, pointless stuff, or, like, traveling stuff, anyway, because uh, I did just move, so I just have some stuff in this. But this is the one that I take to sleepovers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, this is the one that I take to sleepovers. And it's a breast cancer awareness one for breast cancer month. Or breast cancer awareness month. But I take this to sleepovers with me. And, um, like, going to a friend's house. Or, like, if I'm on my period, I'll keep it in a purse. And I'll take this to my purse with me. Or whatever. And so, it doesn't have anything in it right now, but it's actually a pretty spacious bag, like, it's pretty cool. And it's like, I don't know, I like it because it's like, like wetsuit material kind of, it feels like a wetsuit, but it kind of sounds like one too, <laughs> when it's not wet anyway. But yeah, it's pretty big and it's like really flexible and stuff. So what you want to keep in your first period kit is a few panty liners, I wear one every day. Um. But I like to keep panty liners in my emergency kit at school um, because I don't know why I keep one in there because I wear one every day. But you want to keep a few. Ah, I can get them out. There we go. A few panty liners. I just have four. Um, this is I don't have a first period kit anymore because I've already, already started my period. But <laughs> there's four. And, um, you can just put them in your bag. And this is, like I said, a my first period kit, so, you just put them in here. And like I said, I told you guys, this is huge, like, I still have plenty of room. And, I don't recommend using tampons for the first, like, first period, unless you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely have to. Like, if you have swim team, and your mom won't, like, miss, or you can't miss, or you have a swim competition, or you're going swimming with a whole bunch of guys. You know, you don't want your pad starting to float up in the water. That'd be nasty. Um, so, pack, uh, yeah, don't, I don't recommend using tampons, so I wouldn't pack any. Unless you absolutely want to, but I just have enough. So, like, there we go. There's, um, uh, panty liners. And pack a few pads. I don't have any overnight pads right now. I probably should have bought some. But I need to go period shopping, so pack a few pads. There's my pads. These are Kotex pads. I use them for overnight. And then you can pack an overnight pad um, in here somewhere. And if you want hand sanitizer or chapstick, and which I don't have right now. But that's one bag you can use to pack it in. And, uh, sorry, I have all my video stuff ready for me because I knew I was going to be making videos today. Okay, so that's one little bag you can use. Another bag you can use is, and the bag I'm about to show you has stuff in it, but this is like not to be as discreet. Um, but it has stuff in it because I put some of my traveling stuff in here. 
and like a few makeup brushes. Well, actually, there's only one there, but there's this clear plastic bag by Basic. Um, it's actually a makeup company, and my dad's friend's wife is the owner of it, so she gives me a whole bunch of free makeup and stuff. So I have a lucky tushy. But anyway, so there's some. Um, like it's just a clear bag, obviously, because you can see everything in it. And you can keep your stuff in there. I, I mean, if you want to be like, hey, yo, I'm ready for my first period. I'm going to keep myself in clear bag. You can do that. You can go ahead and do that. Um, I didn't do that, but I do use this for traveling. So that's why there's stuff in it and whatnot. So, um, yeah, you can keep it in that. And that is totally okay if you keep it in that. You can also get another one of these bags and take it to school with you and slip it in your book bag or your backpack or your purse or whatever you use to carry your stuff. Um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, and then keep one at home, keep one in a purse that you take everywhere with you because if you know you're going to be expecting your period soon, um, definitely take a purse with you everywhere because you just don't, you don't want to wad up toilet paper and have to use toilet paper. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and if you want to be more discreet, like, you don't want a lot of people to know, you can email me at lady dot, like, period, dot, <laughs> talk 27 at gmail.com, and I check my email all the time, so, well, this email anyways, I have two emails, but the other one's not for this channel, anyway, so, I check that a lot, and, um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah, you can email me if you have questions or you want me to make a video um, about stuff. No, that, yeah, you can email me if you want to be like somewhat discreet or whatever. Or like or comment and subscribe. Definitely do that. Okay, see ya!